Hey everybody, thank you for watching. So if you guys want to learn how to remove valve springs, uh, I'm gonna teach you that right now. So what you guys want to do is you want to put your uh, cylinder on a holding block so that it's holding the cylinder because at the same time, once you're removing the valve springs, you're gonna end up dropping the valves that are right here. So you want to make sure you have it covered on the top so it protects the valves from also dropping as you're removing the, the springs. So what you're gonna use is you're gonna use a tool that it's a compressor tool and you're also going to be using a like a needle nose flyer and a pair of tweezers so i already have my book right here open it says that how to remove it all i have to do is just comp uh, compress on the on the valves the springs far enough so that i can remove the valve spring retaining keys so what I want to do is I want to take the rocker shaft and the rocker arm first. So I got to get my tool right here. Remove this. Remove the shaft. As I'm removing, I'm putting everything on, on one. I'm keeping it separate from one side to the other, which this is I this is for my, for my I guess intake side. And then removing the the arm and sometimes it actually comes with the uh, with the wash thrust so I'm putting it all right here on one side now what I want to do is I want to get this tool and put it right here in between so I'm going to put this shaft back again right here. And I'm going to be putting this compressor tool right there. So I put it in like that. And then I got to compress. I got to compress on the valve. Just far enough so I can remove the retaining keys. You guys can see it. So those retaining keys are what I have to move. And as they come out, I might end up be using uh, some tweezers. So, I got my tweezers right here. Remove half of the retaining key and put it on the set on the side right here. Now I have to remove the other side. And the other half it should be in there. like that and I'll just put it right here and once I let go it's gonna come off because the only thing that was holding it was these split keys so I'll put it right here that'll be all together now I gotta remove the the shaft that's right here Gotta remove the shaft that's right here. Slide it out. Slide it out while I'm holding this. Voila. And then 
Put that separate with the other arm. Remove this. And this is the this is the washer for the springs. And these are the the in, inner inner springs, but these are called the uh, auxiliary springs. And these are the outside springs. And there should be another washer in here. So everything goes separate on this side. And there's another, I guess another washer in there. Now what you have to do is now do the same thing to the other side. Now. And that's how you remove a, uh, a valve spring. Alright, thank you guys for watching.